Overcrowded jails, prison gangs, and social isolation. The American criminal justice system can be harsh. Even if someone is convicted of a nonviolent offense, chances are they could serve a jail sentence. And for many, a single infraction can turn into a lifelong downward spiral of crime and incarceration. The United States has only 5% of the world's population, yet it has 25% of the world's prison population. That's over 2 million people. With 716 per 100,000 people locked up, the U.S. has the highest rate of incarceration of any country on Earth. Let's compare those rates with two of the world's most populous nations. China has 122 people per 100,000 locked up, and India has 30. So what's happening in the United States? And in More than United four States. decades ago, President Richard Nixon launched his war on crime to combat gun violence and drugs, leading to stricter legislation. In the 1980s, the U.S. Congress passed mandatory minimum sentencing laws. Judges were required to give fixed prison terms to those convicted of specific offenses in the hope that harsh prison terms would deter criminals. In the 1990s, many U.S. states passed the so-called Three Strikes Laws, a name inspired by American baseball, a game in which a pitcher eliminates a batter after three strikes. The laws mandated increased sentences for repeat offenders, usually after three serious felonies. Supporters say rigid enforcement made the streets safe and brought crime rates down. But critics argue such laws forced even nonviolent offenders to serve lengthy sentences, leading to increased prison populations and ballooning costs. Compounding the issue, the private for-profit prison industry. It spent $45 million last year lobbying the U.S. Congress for tougher laws that would send more people to jail.